I know he is. I taught him before. Everyone ready? Nope. Let me know when. You got one I more color. Like yeah. Higher? Start with your name yeah. and your. Right. All right, ready? Yep. Yep. What happened here today, Chief? Uh, good afternoon. At approximately 9:50 this morning, uh, we received a phone call uh, for a fire in apartment 4 Bravo. Our units arrived in under three minutes. Upon arrival, the units were met with a heavy fire condition in apartment 4 Bravo. They forced the door to the apartment. They entered without the protection of a charge hose line. Ladder 120 made their way in located a civilian, they removed them to the street, handed them off to EMS where care was provided. The patient was transported to Brookdale Hospital in serious condition. Uh, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Lieutenant Samira and the members of Ladder 120. Good afternoon. My name is Lieutenant Salvatore Mira, Ladder 120. We, uh, we were at the firehouse when the alarm came in. We received a report of a, a fire in, uh, in the building behind me. And uh, on arrival, we uh, had multiple people advising us before we even got in the building that there was still an occupant trapped in apartment 4 Bravo. So we knew that we had somebody in there that definitely needed to get tended to. So myself and my inside team immediately uh, ascended to the fourth floor, where when we met in the stairwell, we, we uh, came out of the stairwell on the fourth floor. We had a heavy smoke condition, and we knew we had to get in there because, like we said, we knew somebody was in there and, and, uh, and they were trapped. We made our way to the door, we forced the door to apartment 4 boy, and uh, upon initially doing our searches, once we passed the uh, hallway by the kitchen area, we found an unconscious victim on the floor, which was the uh, victim that people were referring to that was trapped. I immediately radioed to the command post that we found a unconscious civilian and that we were uh, going to prepare to package the patient and remove the patient outside of the fire area which later on one of our firefighters brought them down to EMS. EMS transported to the hospital, and uh, we're uh, just hoping for the most positive outcome that we can have. And uh, I just want to say everyone did a fantastic job. This is what we trained for. This was a live opportunity to practice what we trained for, and everyone's teamwork was the reason today was so successful. So I just want to commend the guys and girls that were here today. Everyone did a fantastic job. When we got into the fire apartment, it was heavy fire conditions, and uh, the hose was in the process of being stretched, so we didn't have a hose line to protect us at that time. But like I said before, we knew somebody was in there, so we couldn't wait. We had to make a you know, life-saving decision, which is what we trained for, and we did it, and positively uh, it, it worked out today. On, you know, we, There's a risk, obviously, involved. We had to pass a fire without a protection of a hose line, but we knew that we had to get somebody out safely, and that's exactly what we did today. We had to pass the fire area to get to them. We found them, and we got them out immediately. And uh, the, the EMS took over as far as patient care went, and we're just hoping for the most positive outcome we could get. Some folks around here calling you a hero. I asked, just what's your response to that? To being a hero? This is what we signed up to do. We do it every day. We do it with pride. We do it with joy. We're here to help the community, and we're happy to do it. It's another day in the office for us here. It's, uh, it's, it's our job. It's our life. So uh, are we heroes? Some might say so, but to us it's a job and we love doing it. We do it with passion and uh, we come here every day to do it with, uh, with a smile on our face. Uh, when the term fireproof is referred to, it means basically that the construction of the building is intended for uh, preventing of travel of fire. Um, it's basically a uh, concrete building, and uh, there's a standpipe in here which facilitates easier hose line operations for the engine company to hook up in a stairwell to hose to, uh, the hose in the stairwell to stretch and basically extinguish the fire. So when they term fireproof, that's what they're referring to, the construction of the building. Do you think that actually benefited the construction of the uh, it, to, to a degree, yeah. It, uh, it limits fire extension, which is good, but it also keeps the fire in one concentrated area, which gets extremely hot until we could get water on it. Right. Anyone else? 
No, I, I couldn't say. I'm sorry. The fire marshals will, I'm sure, do a full investigation, and they'll have a determination once that's com uh, completed. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, first name is Salvatore, S-A-L-V-A-T-O-R-E. Last name is Mira, M-I-R-R-A. It makes it easier. Okay, thank you guys. James. James. Good? Yes, we're good. No, we're good. I think I